We have overcome the soldiers twisted by the deep, and yet miles to go until we sleep. Welcome back to Dark Souls 3. We are waxing poetic about one of the first major milestones that we have accomplished here. One of the Lords of Cinder felled and put back to rest. Those soldiers, disciples of Artorius, who hopefully find some comfort in the restful state in which that they now find themselves in. But as for us, here the living or the unliving as the case may be, we still have a job to accomplish. And the Welcome first thing host. we're going to do is put Very some well. of these souls to good use. And um, it, it is getting fairly expensive to buy levels. So we are only actually going to be able to get one for the time being. Another 9,000 there. So we're going to have to figure out exactly either if we want to go and farm for that last uh, 10,000 or ah. if we want to purchase something. And I'm my mind goes to perhaps purchasing some things that might be of use and kind of setting ourselves up for success here in the future. Uh, so it might actually behoove us... Ooh, look at this. The Undead Legion Helm. Very cool. Attire of the Abyss Watchers. I really wish I could compare to my current... Um, my current outfit. Undead Legion armor looks really neat as well. So let's see. It's 7.6 for the armor. 4 for the helm. This definitely tempts me. I will not lie to you, friends. This definitely tempts me. It's actually comparable. 9.2 for the Fallen Knight armor. And the Sellsword Helm. Huh. You know what? I think we're going to get ourselves a new hat, friends. I think the time has come. We have, we've rocked the turban uh, for quite some time, but I think, I think the time has come for us to get some new duds. Undead Legion Helm. Yeah, let's do it. A little bit of a vanity purchase, but you know what? Ashen one. <laughs> I think we've earned it at this point. So let's go ahead. And um, our face has been looking a little worse for the wear, I must say. So maybe it's for the best. Not bad. Not bad at all. Very cool. Loving it. Loving our new look. Uh, and as far as the remaining 2,100 oh, souls... I might actually just blow it all on um, green blossoms, is my thought, unless there's something else. The Dried Finger. Online play item, we'll probably pass on that for the time being. A Life Ring, also pass on that, I think. Are there any shields that provide like stamina recovery, like the Grass Crest Shield? I'm not seeing any, so perhaps we will not grab any of those. Charcoal Pine Resin would not be a terrible idea. Same with the Rotten Pine Resin. Uh, Green Blossom, obviously the ultimate purchase. I think we'll go quantity over quality. So we'll just take a few of these uh, Charcoal Pines. And have those ready for us in the future. Now, um, there's a few things that we're going to do. I think so that we don't wait too long before we get to the action. We are we will jump in and explore the key. Um, rather explore where the, the new key that we purchased leads to. It's some kind of tower outside. So we're gonna we're gonna explore that first of all. And then we may come back inside and do a quick round with our um, with our good friends here and see what they have to say. Oh. Well, speaking of which. The poor, wretched souls. Be they lord or legend, the curse shows no mercy. What a sham. Damn and a shame. The poor, wretched, be they. What a sh Hmm. Okay. Um, the key, oh, I guess it was, it is guarded by the, 
or was guarded by the Swordmaster, correct? Have I got that right? Or is it inside? Oh, no. Okay. So, there was a... Was there another... There must have been another... Um, opening inside. Or is it up here? Uh, it is up there. Okay. I'm a little turned around, but... We'll get there. All right. You know what? Odysseus has ne never been known for his sense of direction. Um, famously, did not get back home for quite some time. Maybe uh, there's a little book about it you might you may have heard of. All right. Use the tower key. Beautiful. Here we go. I don't know if we're going to be fighting somebody, or if this is a portal, or there's going to be a new merchant, or a quest, or what do we have here? Well, first of all, what a view. I can always appreciate a good uh, Dark Souls Vista course. Now, we should be looking for sneaky items that may now be accessible to us. I'm not seeing any. I suppose we could drop down here and run around on the roof. And I do see... Oh, there's that nest over there. Now, we've had some experience in the past with various birds and bird-adjacent folk giving items when we drop stuff. And in Dark Souls 2, it was smooth stones and other items of that ilk. So we'll, we'll come back around in a second to check that out. Can we drop down on this ledge? That lo ledge looks desperate to be dropped down upon. I don't see a way of doing it, though. So perhaps not. Uh, we do get a lift, though. Okay. Man, looking good. Looking very good. Dead end ahead? Trust but verify. That's my... That's my motto. Thing around here. Even if it is a dead end, again, just double checking that there's nowhere that we want to drop down to. Not seeing... Man, you would think that the uh, they would want to reward the enterprising player for making the jog all the way around, but no. No such luck. That's fine. It's not all about the stuff. It is kind of all about the stuff, but <laughs> it's about the journey. All right. The giant bell. Is the giant bell going to fall and crush me if I go pick up whatever this is? Or it's going to summon something else. I don't know. Well. Oh, Firekeeper Soul. Huh. I hope it's not anybody that I knew. I wonder. Is that where I started out? That's where I fought Udex. Uh, what's his name, right? Gundir. Yeah, most likely. Okay. Well, we've come up here. Should we ring the bell for old time's sake? Ring the two bells, etc., etc.? Perhaps not. Okay, so well, I guess that's, I guess that's that. Interesting. I wonder if maybe um, that felt very dramatic. I expected there to be more. Oh, well. Speaking of drama. <laughs> Sorry, friend. What? Be more careful. You again? By the gods, curiosity is gonna kill you, kittens. Some places are better left alone, you know. Oh. Sorry, am I a tad too late? <laughs> Look, first of all, I have the key, so let me just reach through and... Have no fear. There's beauty open in it. Besides, you're surrounded by ladies. Every man's dream, right? 
They're a little bit, it's a little full on. What a happy guy. Oh, no matter. I'll look after things. By stripping every last trinket off your corpse. Right. And what, you're, you're going to be the ashen one now? Customer very happy. <laughs> Patches, if you don't let me out this instant, like, the firekeeper is going to be glad she's that she doesn't have eyes to see what it is I'm going to do to you when I get out. Oh, let me just you? say that. Okay, well, <laughs> even though we have the key, for some reason we can't use said key to just reach through the bars at the gate and open ourselves out. Maybe it's implied that we just left the key in the uh, in the door. I guess I should have been looking to see if there was a way for us to hop off uh, early. And now, really should be looking to see where we could drop down to. Like, obviously I know we can um, Homeward Bone or, or Dark Sign ourselves back, but, you know, where's the fun in that? Let's figure, let's figure this out. If there is something to be figured out. Well, yeah, I don't think we'll be surviving that fall. Homeward Bone may be the way, but let's just see what our choices are here. Or let me go back up here and see if anything has changed. Everything seems to be much the same. I mean, I could drop down, but that's literally where we just were, right? Curious, sir, and curious, sir. Um... Yeah, so I think what I'm gonna do, I'm not seeing, it may be blindingly obvious, but not to this, not to this player, dear friends, so I didn't see any other ledge for me to jump off of, so patches, watch this move. Oh, I don't want to do that. I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> He's like, oh no, what have I done? Well, first of all, let's go talk to the Firekeeper about this soul that we found. Firekeeper soul. Welcome home, Ashen One. Speak thine. Give Firekeeper soul. Farewell, Actually, hang on. Before we do that, let's read the item description. I need to stop throwing souls willy-nilly at people before I read what they do. Um, where is it? Crystal Sage. Um, oh, it's considered a key. Soul of a Firekeeper who returned from the Abyss. This Firekeeper preserves the bonfire and serves its champion. She is said to have soothed and accepted the Dark Sigil, which has tainted her soul. And yet, her soul will one day embed itself in the bosom of another Firekeeper. Whom I happen to be looking at right here, I imagine. Yeah, so here we go. Ashen One, this is much like what lies within me. Then let it find its own place within my bosom. She will understand. We are both fire keepers after all. He is now able to heal the Dark Sigil. Forgive me, sister. Huh. May the flames guide thy way. Heal the Dark Sigil. Requires 32,000 souls. I mean, if I, I could say yes, but I don't have enough. What am I healing exactly? The Dark Sigil. Farewell, I made the flip. Is that a is that something that I received? The dark sigil. Yeah, accumulates curse. Oh, yeah, this dark sigil will never heal, but there's a tale told blah blah blah. Oh, right, we read that description before. It says I have 3 of them. Oh, um is it because we talked to what's his name? 
to Yoel of Londor and did the draw out true strength. Actually, now that I think about it, didn't we receive that dark sigil because of what he did? Look, man. What exactly have you gotten me into? Oh, our champion of ash. Welcome back. I would do anything. Yeah, you would do anything. So... It does look like it's kind of a deal with the devil. So I could draw out the true strength. I would receive a dark curse thing. Um, so is the is is it essentially just a cosmetic thing at this point? Or if I heal the dark sigil, does it remove a level from me? Let's see if we can talk. As I have said, alas, but I, uh -huh. I oh. we pilled it though. Yeah. No, we've already. We've already discussed this. Be Interesting. Safe. Well, we'll sit on this for the moment. Obviously, we don't have 32,000 souls. We're also wearing a mask right now, so if it's just cosmetic, then, like, it's kind of much of a muchness, isn't it? Oh, hello, you're back. You're back. And in one piece. Well, now it's time I do my part. Huh? Okay. You can keep the ring as... Okay. <laughs> There's Bye. nothing more to say to us. Alright, so it looks like people don't generally don't have anything new to say to us. Now, there was somebody, um, yeah, uh, what's his name? Egon, the protector of, um, of the, uh, Lady of Miracles. Uh, I know you. Been some time. I just dropped in to see how she's getting on. Oh, she's doing very well, although I wish what she would get a chair. Playing but... out with this circus. This cesspool of doddering old folk and degenerates. Couldn't be better. She must fit in perfectly here. <laughs> Seems like a little bit of a diss on the person he's supposed to be protecting, but all in good fun, this I guess. This place is a good note. All right, great. Well, speaking of degenerates... Speaking of degenerates, patches, I'm coming for you. With swift retribution, justice is coming to you, so I hope you're ready. Uh, who am I kidding? He'll probably just say something really smooth. He'll offer me, like, 5% discount. And I'm a sucker for discounts, so I'll probably forgive him. <laughs> uh, he can't keep getting away with it. Etc. So. Oh. Not that way. Alright. Well, at least now I know the way. With some confidence. Alright. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Let's pretend that never happened. Let's never speak of this again, shall we? Let's never speak of this again. Yep. I'm telling you, Odysseus has got a perfect sense of direction. I don't know I don't know what you've heard otherwise, but Alright, where are you? Where are you? It's open now. Somehow. I wonder if you died. If he would, like, actually loot your corpse. Like, if you ended up jumping off the tower. Also, seems super, like... Wow. Whoops. Seems super sh short... Uh short-sighted. If he knows who we are, then doesn't he know? Alright, he is not up here. He's escaped again. If he knows that we are some kind of, you know, essentially immortal undead, then I'm not exactly sure what his plan was. And you met me previously, and you saw what I can do, so... I don't know. Doesn't seem like a smart move on his part. 
Alright, well he didn't trap us a second time. <laughs> I would have been a little salty if that had happened. But, uh, anyway, now that we're back here, I do want to go ahead and keep exploring the roof. Unfortunately, we have enough health to, to tank. So let's take a quick look around. Um, interesting. So this is the tower where the swordsman is. I wonder how we would get inside. We're running on top of Firelink right now. That's where we fought the swordsman. That door is still locked. Yeah, here we go. You, you, me, me, pickled pea, me, me, bumperum. Okay. What can I drop for you? I wonder. Like I'll do it. I'll. Let me look at my inventory. Is anything blindingly obvious? Poop? Probably not. They probably won't appreciate that. Oh, I have an Estus shard. I completely forgot about that. We'll have to we'll have to take care of that. Um, Titanite shard. Do you want that? I've got a few extra. I wouldn't mind parting with. Uh, pyromancy shield, helm, armor, trousers, rings. I honestly don't know. Um, rusted coin, prism stones. I mean, I guess we'll just try something and see how they react, right? I don't know. I, I've got some sword, swords uh, that I don't really need. So, what if I drop? Uh, how do I drop this? Um, switch sword. Why am I not seeing a drop option? A dropption, if you will. Maybe you, maybe you can't drop it. What about something like a... Uh, like a prism stone? Uh, oh, leave. What did I... how did I... how did I get to that? Um... Oh, just left click on it. Got it. So, leave, uh, discard. What's the difference between leave and discard, I wonder? I guess we'll try. Leave this one? Yes? You, you, no, no. Oh, okay. Sorry. That no pickle pea. That no bumperum. Okay, sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll take it out of your nest. Um, I mean, in the last one, they liked stones. They liked smooth and silky stones, which this is. Prism stone, by definition, is. So... Leave how many? We'll try, like, two. You, you like that? You. Oh. No. Okay. Pickle pea pumperum. Pickle pea pumperum. I thought at first I thought that was the, like their names, which it still might be, but I'm not sure what it exactly it is that they're looking for from me. Huh. Let's run through here real quick. I don't know if we've done that before. Oh, hello. Twinkling Titanite, beautiful. Oh, I should have kicked down the ladder. And there was something on the roof there, too. Alright, hang on. One more time. I didn't, uh, I didn't plan on this being the Firelink episode, but apparently it is. Oh, there we go. There was a little ledge there. Oh, beautiful. Okay. There we are. Alright, who died on the roof? Homeward Bone. Man, wouldn't have that, that have been nice for him. 
truly ironic. Oh. 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 Okay. There's, uh, rafters. Well, I know all about rafters. And there's another nest. Oh, or it's just from up there. Yeah, I know. I know who you are. Let's see. Ooh, another Estes shard. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. What if I were <laughs> What if I were to just jump off and plummet to my death right in front of the firekeeper? <laughs> How funny. Uh, it's morbidly tragic and hilarious. <laughs> she would be like, I need to get myself a new ashen one. This is not... I, they don't pay me enough for this. Actually, they don't pay me anything, is what she would say. <laughs> I think that would be kind of funny. Just me. So, most importantly, we have two uh, flask shards picked up. Let's go... Oh! Speaking of plummeting, there we go. Don't mind me. Let's go turn those in for sure. Ah, just what neat. Uh, reinforce. There we go. Increasing number of uses, and again. Pretty be careful. Cool. I don't want to see my work. Yeah, I would never squander your work, etc. All right. Well. I might have to look up or rely on some uh, some helpful comments to know what exactly I should be leaving for the bird folk, but I th I uh, feel like we've done a pretty decent job here. So let's head back to where were we exactly? Uh, Abyss Watchers and keep on keeping on. So, this slid back last time to reveal the Catacombs of Carthus. Thank you. Right on cue. Be wary of skeleton and then trap. Which way? This way? Okay. Let's see what kind of trap we're talking about. Oh, a trap down there, for sure. Try right. Like, going to the right? Or is there something... Nope, not there. Secret ahead? Is there, like, a drop or something? There is. Okay. They're saying I should try this way first. Um... Which we will, but I'm going to trigger the trap. Oh, I expect it to be like a more environmental-based trap. Skeletons I can handle. Unless they come back again. What do you reckon? Oh, yeah. Okay, they gave me the souls for it. I figure that's somewhat permanent. There's going to be a giant boulder or something, right? I mean, there are holes in the ceiling. There are grooves on the floor. Arthas Rouge. But I don't know what that is. Maybe let's stop real quick and see what that is. Um... Adds lacerating effect to right-hand weapon. Oh, temporarily applies uh, bleeding. Got it. Associated with the warriors of Carthus, those whose blades take on the scarlet hues of both this sanguine substance and the spatters of their victims' blood. Gross. Also not very hygienic, you might, uh, you might think. All right, I figure we should tangle with this guy or see what he's capable of. Oh, hello. Whoa, hello. All right, let's back up from the edge. Uh oh. All right. 
delay. Okay. Cool. If that shortcut becomes a like a permanent fixture, then we won't have to keep fighting him, but it's always good to kind of test your metal against new enemies and just kind of see what their moveset is. All right, there's quite a few different areas to drop down. Try rolling. Yep. All right, skellies. Let's do this. Oh, and an arrow guy. Straight up not having a good time. Oh, Dark Spirit, whatever. Now is not the time. Is there ever a time? Oh, there he is down there. Alright, we'll do it up here. Oh, he's triggering that for us. That's maybe good. I'll wait for him up here. Let's just get a quick heal in while we wait. A little bit, a bit of a... Uh, not jolly cooperation. But whatever this is. Hello. Alright. Let's do this. Oh, I've got a blue spirit. Nice. Blue spirit, where are you at? Oh, yes. I've got a blue spirit. Help me. Help me, Blue Spirit. Thank you. Get back here. Oh, they're going to try to heal up. Or use the terrain to their advantage, I imagine. This will be interesting. I don't know the terrain well enough. No. Whoa! Where did he go? Oh no! Uh oh, good parry. Nicely done. Oh, did I get a second uh, blue seminal summon? Sure did. Thank you, friends. Wow, good on him. Good on you. Wow. I've I've not been very uh commenting very much, but This is a uh, one for the ages. All right, let's heal up here. Where's our where's our fight? Here it is.
Oh, a good parry. Damn. He has acquitted himself extremely well. <laughs> I must say. Oh no. There we go. Thank you. I should have bowed. Dark Spirit has died. Wow. That guy was really good. Major props. <laughs> major, major props to that guy. There is absolutely, like, uh, I'm glad we beat him, but also, like, mad respect to that guy for surviving as long as he did. So there you go. For somebody like me, who has, like, done almost no, uh, like, PvP. Very interesting. And also, I have to say, very glad that I, uh, had, had assistance. Very glad that I had assistance. <laughs> and, that, and that guy, he took down multiple of my allies as well. So again, like, nothing but respect for him. Nothing but respect. Uh, and I am pretty much dry at this point. I am pretty much dry. So I'm going to run back real quick. And uh, I think that what I learned from that is that... Well, first of all, he was, he was clearly extremely familiar with um, the environment. Which really um, played to his advantage. Like using those boulders and luring people in to kind of like in a more ideal area strategically. Also, his use of parry, um, you know, very impressive as well. So, I can't say I feel particularly uh, proud of the victory, per se, or take like much ownership of it. Just a good, solid opponent. A good, solid opponent. Now, did we, uh, did we get, did we get anything in particular from that win? Oh, hello. Really? Yeah, that all kind of underscored how... I am but a, a Dark Souls babe, uh, in a lot of ways. Case in point. Here come the... those things. <laughs> the boulders. Alright. The bones are still moving, I think. Maybe not. This is kind of like, um... What was it? Sen's Fortress, right? Sen's Fortress is the one that had all these? <laughs> Alright. We'll wait for the boulder to make another pass through. Before we continue on. Undead Bone Shard, beautiful. Hey, we can use those, without a doubt. Now I wonder what it is exactly that triggers the, uh... The boulder. Ooh. Oh, Perry from the skeleton. <laughs> That's embarrassing for me, in a lot of ways. Alright, maybe we can use this to our advantage, if we can trigger the boulder again. 
more boulders? Maybe there's a pressure plate of some kind. I'm not sure. Also, I figure we should go back here and explore this area as well. Yeah, be wary of trap. I know. But I kind of want the trap to be triggered. Alright, there's this. I think it's just him. I say just him, but obviously. Ooh. Ooh. Nicely done. Alright, let's get out of Archer's range. Oh no. Oh. Oh, he had a, he had like five attacks in a row. <laughs> wow, he just his stamina. I would love one day I hope I grow up to have as much stamina as that guy. My goodness. My goodness. All right. Well, we know the way. We know the way. And uh, I guess we're not getting invaded anytime soon. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, where's the guy? Right there. What? Oh. All right. All right, all right, all right. I wonder in what situations the skeletons um, revive and which situations they don't. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be sitting here. Thank you very much. Thank you, Boulder. Man, this would be a great place to, like, farm, to farm some souls. Back up. Yeah, sure is. Is that basically like a rat king? Utterly horrifying for those of you who know what a rat king is. Alright. We're gonna try this again. We'll start off with this. Oh, nicely done. Not easy. One more. Alright, maybe a little easy. <laughs> Kukri. Okay. He was demonstrating some of those for me right there. A sharp gem. Really, skeleton? Bog wall ahead. Oh! Wow, thank you. Uh, I thought it was like sarcasm, but no. Sometimes, people are, are actually bros. And I gotta say, massive- Oh! You're, you're back. Massive shout out to the Blue Sentinels. Uh, Going back to the whole PvP scenario, multiple blue uh, sentinels came to my aid, which is the first time I think I've uh, been able to take advantage of that um, particular covenant. Karthus Pyromancy Tome. Cool. Because I had it before in uh, Dark Souls 2, but I'm sure, you know, the player base is not as robust in two as it is in three. Um, so I was not able to benefit from it. There's that spine break dancing. So yeah, very cool. I think I will keep that covenant for now. Seeing as how that went for me, I could could I needed all the help I could get. Let's just put it like that. 
Soul of a Nameless Soldier. Alrighty. Where have we ended up now? There's a trap right there if we need it. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's use it. Love it. Just two arrows, huh? Is it going to... Come back alive, or... No. Ooh, there's... Ooh. Okay. Oh, I know where we are. Okay. See, it's like the corpse is still slightly moving, so I'm like... I don't know how far past this go. Oh, another one of you. Okay. So far, so good. Oh no! Man, uh, this is the episode that of me getting parried. I wonder what the trick is for anti-parrying. Like, I don't know if there is. It's just maybe... If they decide to block at that exact moment, you know? Hmm. I guess that's kind of incumbent upon me to not, uh... Swing too wildly because that I'm sure that enables parrying to some extent. All right, we could drop back down here if we wanted to continue our uh, quest down there. Yeah, we've come full circle at this point. A lot of hubbub to be sure. Yeah, let's take this guy out. Oh. I was <laughs> was that worth it? I don't know. I almost just killed myself from trying to be too too clever. All right, there's guys here. I know it. I remember. Or I remember. I remember rather. From okay. Thank goodness for poise. Uh, poise damage. God bless poise damage. Alright, shady stuff happening here. Oh, right, we ran... <laughs> this guy saw a whole bunch of stuff happen, and he's just nicely... ...standing here. Spouse ahead, but if I... If only I had a hollow. Oh, it's, uh, it's her. If only I had a hollow. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Yeah. Have you seen my companion, Horace? No. I'm ashamed I was snared by a trap and we've become separated. I've not been able to find him since. Have yes, not. I see. Horace is a valiant knight. You can look after yourself, no question. Oh, he's searching for me right now. You're twice the resolve. If you happen upon him, please tell him. That I remain in the catacombs and will lay prism stones to guide him as always. Nice. Please maybe I maybe I can reap the benefits of those as well. May the flames guide your way. Uh and also with you. Okay. What manner of trap is this? No. No trap. No trap, just treasure. Uh, alright. That just plummets down, I guess. As does that. So, uh, back up, I guess. Back up top. I'm hoping that we can, uh, we can find a, a bonfire to kind of hang our hat on. Probably not literally, because I really like this hat. So, and I don't want to lose it. <laughs> Can I just go down this, like this, and not get hit? 
Yeah. Okay. Now, do I step on this again to make it stop, or what? Or did I just make it go again? Because it did stop after a while. Alright, maybe we... Okay, I was going to say, maybe we aggro these guys and get it to help us. Yeah? Okay. I think we'll go, we'll do that method. Aggro everybody. Hello everybody. Welcome. Oh, there's a lever here that's broken, that's why. Oh, and there's this guy too. That helps. Huh. That guy didn't want a part of us. Interesting. These guys are smart enough not to follow me, I guess. Maybe if I lure them enough. Here. Maybe they'll come. No? Not even. Alright, so we're gonna have to do this the, uh, the hard way, I guess. Doing this the hard way. Now, is he a caster of some kind? I bet you he is. Yep. I bet he's bringing them back as well. Okay, I understand what's happening now. Where did he get, where did he go? He's hiding. Oh no. Oh no, heal. There he is. Alright, rolling through the pots. Oh no, part of this milk ring. I mean, that's a little hectic. Whoa. Oh, these pots are or what's doing it. I thought it was like another sorcerer. Or it's, he's also casting bombs that do it as well. <laughs> you like rolling? I love that they have like a little Nito the Gravelord uh, face on them. The little bombs they're throwing. All right. Goodness gracious. Oh, not again. Oh, direct hit. Not good. Alright, he's coming back one more time, right? Nope, not even. Alright. You know what, Dark Souls are, is periods of quiet and contemplation punctuated by sheer moments of terror. That's my theory. Alright, there's a trap there we could trigger deliberately if we wanted to. Which, uh, we might want to. Yeah, we might want to. Oh. Oh, I'm trying to be too clever. I don't think he's hurt at all. Whoa! Wow. Oh, 
Oh, I don't... Lost the camera there for a second. Oh! <laughs> now that was dramatic. Where is it? Oh, no! Whoa! <laughs> That feels like a good stopping point. That feels like a good stopping point. <laughs> wow, okay, so a little bit of a slow going here in the catacombs of Karthus. But, you know, we've uh, we've gained a lot of experience. We've gained a, gained a lot of uh, knowledge of the layout of you know, what we're working with, as and as well as, you know, the, the various move sets of the enemies, which is important. And we got ourselves a new hat, which is our greatest and chiefest achievement of all. Not to mention a couple Estus flasks. Not half bad. So, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully we'll push a bit farther in the next episode, but you know what? Baby steps. We gotta learn somewhere. We're learning. We're loving. We're laughing. We're having fun. And, uh, can't wait to push further into the catacombs of Carthus next episode. See you then.